here we found another whale that wants to come nice and close to us. And it's also showing us another percussive behaviour, slapping its tail or its fluke down on the water. Listen to that noise, imagine what it sounds like underneath the water, how loud that would be. Now communication might not be the only reason a humpback whale slaps part of its body on the surface of the water, but it's a very likely one. These whales travel a very long distance throughout their migration, much of this time without access to food. Since they're living off a limited energy supply during this time, it's very highly likely that anything that they spend their energy on has a purpose, like communication. Aside from the purpose that tail slapping might have for a humpback whale, it's also so exciting and helpful for us to see as we get to see their tails on flukes. Now, individual humpback whales can be identified by their tail on fluke. Each single humpback whale has their own unique pattern on that fluke, just like our fingerprints are unique to us. Now, the difference is by the underside on the humpback whale flukes. The coloration can range from all white to all black, with unique markings and scars throughout. The shape along the edge of the flukes is also unique to each whale. Now, when scientists study the humpback whales, one important piece of data they collect is photos of the underside of each whale's tail. They keep catalogues of these photos, adding to them each year, so we get more and more different flukes. Now, through this method of photo identification, Scientists, like our research team, have learned so much about individual humpback whales and about the population as a whole. try and find some more whales to watch, you now can test your skills at fluke identification. The scientists match those flukes with the catalogues of flukes taken in the past. This is a really important way for us to learn about the history of 